My name is Etienne La Liberté, and I'm a Canada Free Agent with Transport Canada, currently on assignment at the Canada School of Public Service. I recently looked into some data from the Canada Free Agent program that I thought would be of interest to you, both in your capacity of Free Agent Steering Committee member and executive responsible for a free agent cell. Specifically, I took a look at the link between the attributes based on which all free agents are selected and their performance in projects or assignments as evaluated by their host managers. If you give me 10 minutes of your time, I promise you some very interesting findings and perhaps a unique opportunity. We collected 107 free agent assignment evaluations between March 2017 and March 2019. This sample represents a majority of projects completed by that time. The assignment evaluations are filled by the host managers and center around a few sets of questions presented on this slide. First, the frequency with which the free agents display the attributes here on the left of your screen rank from most frequently to least frequently displayed with the instinct to collaborate and passion being the most frequently displayed attributes while the ability to persuade and courage being the least displayed attributes according to host managers. The attributes in red were replaced in May 2018. However, with 72 cases on hand, it was more than enough to run statistics on them. Second, in the center of your screen, the host manager's level of agreement with eight program performance indicators, some of which can be used as proxies for the free agent's own performance. They are here ranked from most agreed with to least agreed with, with the statement, I would hire a free agent again being at the top of the list, and hiring a free agent was good value for money compared to other staffing options being at the bottom. Third, the frequency with which the free agent demonstrated the five free agent principles. While insightful and having already made the object of a more comprehensive report I shared with the free agent community last spring, these numbers only tell a part of the story. What I was really curious to find out is whether there is any correlation between the attributes and performance. Here's what I found. Only half of the attributes present a significant correlation with only half of the performance indicators. Some of the free agent principles are also significantly correlated with performance. The strength of the correlations is illustrated by the color of the arrows. Orange is a weak correlation, yellow is moderate, green is strong. I base the grading scale on academic research in the field of industrial and organizational psychology. Unsurprisingly, the three performance indicators measuring the satisfaction towards a Canada's free agents program as a staffing option, and by that I mean hiring a free agent was A, faster, B, more convenient, and C, good value for the money compared to other staffing options, do not correlate with any of the attributes, which is indeed what we should expect. The performance indicator hiring a free agent provided me with skills that would be difficult to find otherwise also didn't correlate with the attributes. Another observation is that some of the attributes are the most frequently displayed, such as passion, are not correlated to any of the performance indicators, while some of the least displayed attributes are. So let's take a closer look at the significant correlations. It's still a little overwhelming to look at, so let's break it down by correlation strength. The strongest correlations are found here, with both the ability to persuade others and the ability to think strategically correlating with the performance indicator, hiring a free agent to help our team leverage the broader Government of Canada Innovation Network, and the instinct to collaborate correlating with the performance indicator, hiring a free agent led to a positive change in our team's capacity. Here are the moderate correlations. I won't go through the list, but feel free to pause the video if you want some time to digest it. And same here with the weaker correlations, pause the video if you need to. Another way to look at the data is to go through each attribute one by one and see which performance indicators they correlate with and what's the strength of those correlations. So here they are for the ability to persuade others, which is linked to all four performance indicators, the ability to think strategically, the instinct to collaborate, the ability to achieve results, the ability to meet strict deadlines, leadership, ability to learn, and resilience. 
The big finding for me, however, was to see which performance indicators are most correlated to those attributes for which all free agents are selected. Here they are. I would consider hiring a free agent again. Overall, I am satisfied with my experience hiring a free agent. Hiring a free agent led to a positive change in our team's capacity. As you can see, some stronger correlations here. But finally, my favorite, hiring a free agent helped our team leverage the broader Government of Canada Innovation Network. It is correlated to all eight attributes for which there were significant correlations, and it presents the two strongest correlation in the data set. In other words, the more a free agent displays those eight specific attributes for which they were selected into the program in the first place, the more their host managers agree that hiring a free agent helped their team leverage the broader Government of Canada innovation network. Now granted, there are a few limitations in the current data set. First, it is based on only 107 assignment evaluations. Second, it reflects only the perspective of hiring managers. Third, obviously, the questionnaire was not designed for that purpose and it, was, it would benefit from better fleshed out questions or questions drawing more variability in the responses. Speaking of which, fourth, the variability uh, and the limited range we have in the current data might explain some of the results. And fifth, there was no control group. Maybe some of the attributes that don't show significant correlations with performance actually make a difference in becoming a free agent. But once someone joins a program, these attributes don't make a difference on the performance as a free agent. So while I have to show restraint in my conclusions, this preliminary analysis offers a number of hypotheses to test in a formal experiment. So what? Well, it matters. It matters a lot. First, because one of the three original objectives of the Canada's free agent program was indeed to increase the capacity of the public service to innovate and solve problems. Second, because one of the hypotheses that the Talent Cloud team sought to test with the Canada's free agent early pilot was that the attributes partly derived from Nestle's competency framework for public sector innovation and problem solving actually delivered on that objective. And third, because the Canada Free Agents Talent Management Framework and Work Plan stresses the importance of validating the attributes. We thought we lacked sufficient data, but as it turns out, we have plenty of data. What the Canada's Free Agents Program lacked is the capacity to analyze the data and use it for evidence-based decision-making. This is where I arrive with a solution. I'm on assignment at the Canada School of Public Service in the Innovation and Policy Services branch as part of the Pathfinder projects, working on the Human Resource Business Intelligence Project, or as we call it, Herbie, which is really about data-driven HR. It is under this umbrella that I am experimenting with an innovative approach known as predictive hiring. My unique angle on predictive hiring is entirely grounded in performance and is about improving hiring decisions by transforming data into insights, more specifically by identifying the qualifications that correlate with and or lead to superior job performance, and the assessment methods and tools that are the best predictors of performance. My aims are to replace guesswork and gut feelings and staffing decisions with evidence-based rationales, focus time, energy, and money more directly on the qualifications that actually matter for performance and the candidates who are the most likely to be successful in the roles, improve staffing effectiveness and raise the bar on talent, data-driven integration of HR functions, and alignment of HR-related data with the business strategy. In the case of Canada's Free Agents program, this could mean validating the attributes. For example, if some of the attributes don't matter to the success of a free agent, maybe we could drop them from our selection process and focus strictly on those that make a difference. That would make us more effective. Another way of improving our effectiveness might be to identify better tools that more accurately predict on the job performance as it relates to the attributes. This could in turn translate into a more efficient recruitment process, either by reducing the number of attributes we assess or by reducing the time and effort spent on assessing the attributes. And if faced with a higher volume of candidates than we can possibly accept in the program, it could offer a basis for selecting the candidates that are the most likely to succeed as free agents based on evidence. Second, it could serve as a foundation for talent management. 
specifically how free agents pick their assignments, how they develop in these assignments, the training and learning opportunities we create for free agents as part of the program, the career coaching we offer, how we do performance management and support free agents in succeeding. And finally, it could inform the HR and business strategy of the program, or at the very least explicitly demonstrate the value it brings to home department, host organization, and the enterprise as a whole by building capacity for innovation and problem solving in the public service. If, like me, you see the huge potential in applying predictive hiring to the Canada Free Agent Program, please get in touch with me and feel free to discuss with the talent managers and the new program lead so that we can explore a partnership. Thank you for your time and attention.